Hey, what up, boys and girls? This is Taylor, and since I usually ask for a lot of video requests and topics and questions because I do really enjoy being tied up with you guys and that wonderful lovemaking session of YouTube content, which that didn't make much sense, but let's look past it. Moving on. So, Obamacare. It's been a huge thing today. Everyone has been sending me messages, everyone and their mother, so to speak, uh, asking me to talk about it. And I was going to do a video where I talked explicitly about the, the positives and the negatives of it because I'm not one of these hardcore left or right people who is like, you know, conservatives are always right. I'm going to follow them to the end. Or, you know, Democrats, that's the way to go. Like, I'm not like that. I'm, I think the whole bipartisan system is pretty ridiculous. If you're watching my Logical Fallacy series, you know it's a what? Huh? Huh? I'm going to let you guys, if you remember that one, put it in the comment section. If you remember the name of that Logical Fallacy, I'm going to be very proud of you if you did. But, uh, so, anyway, the way I feel about it, and this is just coming from a 100% 100% ethical point of view. I'm not going to talk about, you know, money very much. I'm just talking about how it just uh, the, my visceral reaction to it is that it's a really good thing. You know, 40,000 plus people die every year in the United States just because they don't have health care. Uh, millions of children are being denied care because they have pre-existing conditions. That's like uh, people will pay for insurance, uh, but they won't get a certain aspect of their health covered. So if you have a problem with your thyroid, you, you, you're paying for your insurance, but if you have that problem beforehand, which is the very reason you would buy insurance, the insurance company will say, oh no, we'll cover you, but not anything to do with your thyroid because that's a pre-existing condition. That's, that's just, that's mind-bogglingly terrible. That is horrible to do to someone. It's like saying, yeah, we'll insure you, but uh, you know how that horrible ailment you're suffering with right now, you know how that's like not coming? It's already here? Yeah, we're not going to take care of that for you. We're going to go ahead and wait for the next big thing and then probably find a way to wriggle out of that as well. And it's a huge money-making scheme. It's disgusting that they could even have the heart to do this to people. Um, and millions of children now who have diseases are not going to be able to have to, they're not going to have to go through that rather. They're going to be able to get care when they need it. And it just, it boggles my mind that every single argument that is against this None of it is about empathy or morality. It's all about saving the, an individual's money. It's all about saying, oh, yeah, well, I worked for this money, and so I feel like I should be able to do with it whatever I want because it's mine. It's 100% mine. And it's just it's the most childish mindset. Like, just think about it. Imagine this. If someone who supports this and they're willing to pay, uh, and I know it's, it's a tax. It is a tax. It's not just a, you know, benevolent j donation or whatever they're trying to pawn it off as. So I'm taking the conservative side on that. It is a tax. Don't try and dress it up. But just imagine if you were in a hospital room with someone suffering from a disease that couldn't afford to pay anymore, and they were going to get kicked out on the street and die in like 10 days because they just couldn't afford it. And there's one person there, a hardcore conservative, or at least conservative in this, at this juncture right now, and they're saying, no, no, this is my money. You can't have any of it. I'm not going to pay this little bit of my income, this really not that big of a deal of my income, into this system so that you can live. I'm not going to do it. It's mine. I worked for it. Mine, 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 mine. And then the other person would say, yeah, you know, I wish I could go on that extra vacation, or I wish I could buy, you know, a really nice sound system for my car or something, whatever the hell. But, you know, I'm going to put this in back into the community and let you live and let you have... Uh, you, let you have care. And is there any question in anyone's mind, liberal or conservative, which one of those positions is morally reprehensible? I would say no. I would say no, and it seems as though, to me, all of these really just completely bereft of empathy positions that uh, the right often holds in this kind of situation, it seems like it's only a viable situation or a, a viable... Uh, opinion, rather, when you're not the one in trouble. You know, it's just like how Megyn Kelly, the Fox analyst, she was against maternity leave, like, uh, uh, vehemently against maternity leave for women. She did not want women to get paid maternity leave, and then she had a child, and bada bing, bada boom, now she's in favor of maternity leave because she realized, oh shit, my complete in inability to empathize with people who are in a troubling situation made it so that I was just thinking about it from a singular myopic stance and only thinking about how other things impacted me and how it affected me and how I would handle it and I wasn't thinking about other people and that's how it seems like this is you know it seems like people are super adamant about keeping that extra bit of money so they can buy an extra you know case of Coors Light every week whatever the hell these you know middle class people are buying and until their child gets an incurable disease and suddenly Bang. No insurance. Looks like you, because if you know anything about how the United States um, medical system works, you get one, you know, bad condition, and you will have to pay $100,000 or $50,000 or a ridiculous amount of money, and you can go from fine, well-off, doing the standard conservative line of, I worked for what I had, and I'm proud of it, to bang, 
uncontrollable medical expense. Now you're in the poorhouse and you have no other option. And this burden of debt will likely be passed down to your children because you won't be able to pay it off. And suddenly in a day, your life is ruined. And all this can be uh, circumvented by an implementation like Obamacare, like the Affordable Health Care Act, just like just a sin synonymous with it, you know. And uh, just a little tag on the end. I think it's hilarious how Mitt Romney and them are coming out against it when this is pretty much exactly what Mitt Romney implemented when he was a governor. And so that's just a hilarious double dose of hypocrisy. So um, didn't want to get into so too much about the, the semantics and the technicalities here. I just wanted to talk about my moral perspective and how I feel about it. So bottom line, I am very happy it's happening um, because for me, I put the value of human life over making money or saving money. And if it means I'm going to have to pay a little bit more into a system that's going to be using that money to help people, then good. Go for it. I'm happy for them. But uh, if you guys disagree, which I'm sure many of you will because it's a very divisive issue, issue here in the U.S., uh, leave me a comment. And uh, I look forward to it. Talk to you guys in a little bit. And I love you.